Hey guys, Chronicle here, and today we're going to be starting a new series which will teach newer players how to play the game and help improve more experienced players' knowledge of Bloons TD battles. In this first video we'll be looking specifically at Bloons and all there is to know about them. The image shows the round at which the Bloons are unlocked and the Bloons that are unlocked. Bloons all have an income or equal change, increasing or decreasing the player's only initial source of extra money besides banana farms and tier 2 cobras. As the player obtains no money from popping balloons, it is important to constantly improve your income or eco by sending balloons. In Assault Mode, you start off with $250 of income and $650 right off from the get-go. This means that you'll get $250 every 6 seconds. By spending money to send out balloons at your opponent, you can increase the amount of money you get every 6 seconds. For example, if you send out 8, red, eight grouped red balloons, your income will increase by $1. It is necessary to increase your eco in this way as upgrades for towers get more and more expensive for higher tiers. At round 8 you can send out regenerating balloons. Changing to this balloon type will incur an additional multiplier on the cost of the balloon, increasing it by a factor of 1.5. At round 12 you unlock the ability to send camouflage balloons, and even regen camel balloons. For camel alone you will incur a cost multiplier of 3, and for regen camels, you incur a cost multiplier of 4.5. Additionally, adding balloon modifiers will not increase the amount of money per 6 seconds, so do consider the opponent's weaknesses before sending any balloons with different modifiers. Moab class balloons and fast cooldown ceramic balloons reduce the amount of cash per 6 seconds. Also, Moab class balloons are unaffected by regenerating or camel properties, but their non blimp children spawned are. This picture shows what each type of balloon will spawn when popped. The balloon on the left is the most powerful balloon in the game, known as the Oh My God or Zeppelin of Mighty Gargantuanus. Its outer skin takes 4000 hits to pop it. Once popped, it spawns 4 BFBs, also known as Brutal Floating Behemoths, each requiring 700 hits to pop. These then each reduce 4 Moabs, also known as Massive Ordinary Air Blimp. These each take 200 hits to be destroyed. Even a single Moab makes it to makes it past your defense to the other end of the map, your 150 lives will instantly go to zero. The Moab then pops into four ceramic balloons, each containing 104 lives worth of balloons. So you can only withstand one full ceramic past your defense. Any more and your lives will go to zero. The following balloons are zebras, blacks and whites, pinks, yellows, greens, blues, then finally reds, which are the base of all balloons, taking one hit to pop. The only other route is from lead to black to pink, and so on down to reds. Due to the special nature of some balloons, certain towers cannot pop them. Towers without camo detection cannot pop camo balloons, and in general, towers that do not cause an explosion cannot pop leads. Knowing this, you can decide what rush can do the most damage to your opponent. Regen balloons are best sent in with other balloons, and can be particularly dangerous as once damaged, if they are left alone, they will regenerate into the original balloon state. Red regen balloons do exist, but if sent as an original red balloon, once popped, they will not regenerate. Finally, we'll look at the difference between quick and slow cooldown balloons. The top row indicates quick cooldown. I'll send in 5 pinks to demonstrate this. The bottom row indicates slow cooldown. I'll send in 5 leads to indicate the difference. As you can see, the leads are much more spread apart and take much longer to be sent onto the screen. This is because they are slow cooldown. When trying to increase your eco, it's much better to go for the top row, as these balloons can be sent in a lot faster. Despite this, the bottom row are good. They can be used because there's gaps between the balloons, and this can prevent balloons such as the wizard and the cannon from hitting them. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you haven't subscribed already, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video.